Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is an avid traveler. Back once again with a new video. Love it or hate it, you just gotta click it. So just hit the subscribe, like, and share. It is an avid traveler. Back once again. Hey guys, so um, we're airborne. NZ281 uh, again to Auckland, uh, but this time I'm doing the uh, economy class and um, I have kind of upgraded to Sky Couch. So let me show you what is the economy seat and then we can see what the Sky Couch is like. Um, good thing with the Sky Couch, you actually get a three seat um, and the footrest would actually go up um, to the same height as your seat. Um, and then they will make up the bit for you so you can actually have a lie down. Um, in terms of um, meals, you'll still get the same as economy. Service-wise, you still get the same as economy. It just, you are getting extra uh, seats if you fly flying couple and extra two seats if you are by yourself. So just depending uh, on your ticket, that will determine how much you pay. Uh, I paid an extra $400 or $399 to be precise. To get an extra seat from anyway let us have a look so this is pretty much an economy class seat uh, as you can see okay um, they give you the bidding so they will do the bidding later but um, in here they have two buttons um, and if you press one of the buttons as you can see the forest will go up and you can put it up um, just like so and you can do the same for seat number two and you can do the same for you know seat number three sorry so as you can see you're getting a you know like a kind of a double bid Yes, it has a okay, and I have to sit. This is the entertainment screen on the uh, economy uh, Air New Zealand. So this is being filmed in um, July 2024. So you have a section here, new releases. New Zealand films and a section for kids HBO Max you got your topics teen TV series so I'm more into documentaries, so I'm not very familiar with all this. Sporting moments, action. Anyway, fantasy, drama, comedy, romance. Okay, that's more like it, documentaries. So tons and tons of uh, choices. International, looks like Korean, Chinese. And then Japanese, Korean. Pride Channel. And then you've got uh, music. By the way, there's a uh, free Wi Fi on board, which is really, really good.
um, you know, food and drinks. I think there's nothing here. Yeah, uh, flights, map, uh, in-flight Wi-Fi, kids, weather, seat chat so you can chat to other seats, I guess. Yep. Put your name and chat to others. That would be annoying. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, waiting for the food and um, we'll do the food and then we'll do a bit more of the seats. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. So, uh, as I was telling you earlier about the Sky Couch. So, basically, I, I booked the economy for me and my wife. And then I tried to get the Sky Couch. The Sky Couch was 499 And when the time I was booking, it went up to 699 So, I thought, hey, hang on. Let me try to bid on it. So there's a system in New Zealand, and uh, in New Zealand is called One Up, and you can actually bid to upgrade One Up from your uh, booked uh, seat uh, or booked class. So mine was economy, so I booked. Oh yeah, I tried to bid up for the uh, Sky Couch. You can also try to bid up for the premium economy. So I'll do that on the way back, so we can do a comparison with. Sky Couch Premium and uh, Business Class. Um, hopefully, I'll get it, but we'll see. So anyway, um, so I decided to bid four hundred dollars, and uh, I did not get it. Um, so I was like, oh, "Man, what do I do?" So the allocated seat was the one by the window, and my wife was in the middle. And as you can see, I'm taking quite a bit of the seat, um, so it'll be very difficult for me to sit by the window. Um, anyhow, I uh, went to the airport and I asked, can I pay for Sky Couch? Because I wouldn't take it for free anyway, because I told you earlier on I will not take anything for free. So I did never ask for a free upgrade. I asked to pay for it. And they said, yes, you can. Uh, how much? 399 So actually, it was cheaper than even my bid by a dollar. But Hi, guys. So this is my first meal on the uh, Air New Zealand uh, Flight. Um, the uh, first meal out of two, we get um, this breakfast and then a dinner, uh, late dinner when we sort of arriving near Auckland. So this is the egg frittata with a chicken sausage. So let's take a look. So that's what it looks like, and uh, we got a banana muffin, a yogurt, some fresh fruit. So um, small meal, but usually their food is um, quite tasty. Um, so join me while I'm eating. Let's see what um, Air New Zealand egg frittata on economy tastes like. But that's pretty much it. Let's take a look. As you can see, there's a hash there, a chicken sausage, egg frittata with tomato, um, banana muffin, some yogurt, and fresh fruit. All right, guys. Hey. So, um, yeah, very green. Everything is uh, made out of uh, bamboo. Um, I'm guessing, or I'm pretty much, kind of know, but uh, we'll confirm it. But um, bamboo and. You got a napkin and your um, salt pepper as well, so that's good. Um, so spoon, knife and fork. So yep, you can actually pull the tray in. Um, see, the good thing is you got a lot of room. Yes. Um, uh, can I get a coffee, please? Coffee. Yeah, just black. Just black. Thank you so much. So you can see the seat, uh, the tray is very uh, uh, sort of far away. Thank you so much. So, yep, and I got me a coffee. Um, the some of the other airlines actually I can't fit. Whether this is the same as the normal economy, I'll find that for you. Because um, I'm sitting on the sky couch seat, but I would imagine it's exactly the same. I don't think you're getting any extra room here, uh, apart from the seat sort of going up and um, they will turn this into a bid uh, for me later after I finish um, the food. 
But anyway, uh, let's do the uh, taste test and see what um, the egg frittata tastes like. See, guys. Nothing fancy. It tastes very average, um, but again, you are flying economy. So, it's a bit hard to use the bamboo. It's okay, I managed to do it. You can see there the chicken sausage, I think. These are pretty much the same sausages I got on business class. Mm. Think they are very nice. I like them. All the spice and the I got two cameras going: uh, my iPhone and the DJI my Pocket Three. But guys, honestly, I don't know. You can see me here, especially on this camera. You can see I'm sort of sitting, I'm sitting in the middle, but you can see my shoulders are sort of going in each side. So, economy, you will have to go for the aisle seat if you are a little bit bigger than average. Um, I'm not, you know, super tall or huge, but my shoulders sort of spend a little bit wider than um, you know your average uh, person so I do have problems when I sit because of the shoulder sort of you know a little bit wider but anyway this is what you will get um, in economy um, again this is a sky couch that's why I don't have anybody sitting next to me but if you're in economy you'll definitely have people sitting next to you because of flight is for Sausage. Oh. Mm. Nice. And you got spinach as well. We are showing that. Frittata. The best thing so far is the sausage. Let's try some of the spinach. I always love food on my job. Luckily, the wife is not next to me. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. Anyway, guys. Here in New Zealand, service is amazing. Um, amazing again. Economy food is just airplane food. Uh, nothing amazing. It's not disgusting. It's not amazing. It's just airplane food, to be honest. Uh, their business class was very nice, the food, but again, you know, you're paying a lot less on economy so you can't expect the kind of um, gourmet food that you would get um, if you're buying you know premium but it's a pleasant flight so far as I mentioned the crew is amazing they have always been amazing whether I'm in economy or business I know the way back premium um, I am pretty sure they'll be the same, very friendly, very helpful. Uh, so yeah, in terms of service, up there, in terms of seat, much better than other airlines, um, i.e. Singapore Airlines. The seat is so small that you can't even open the tray and slide it if you are my size. 
so that's bad in economy. Business, I mean, please see the video and you will see. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully we, uh, you guys can uh, try them for yourself soon. So this is a uh, banana mug. It's got cinnamon, I don't know what's crunchy on top, but something is crunchy, oh, I think the ice cream, mm, really really nice, this is yum, I'm gonna enjoy this because I still need to finish my meal, I'm gonna enjoy this later, anyway guys, finish my meal, I'll ask him to make the bed so you can see what that looks like as well, and um, I'll tell you what I think at the end of the flight, but so far so good. Enjoying it. Um, so I'll recap. Service is good. Seat is good, even for economy. At least, you know, you're bigger than average. Um, then I recommend to sit on the aisle or try to get the sky couch. Um, apart from this, I'm heavy, heavy chapping, so. Um, as you can see, I've got plenty of room and um, I can't really stretch all the way. Um, you can see my foot comes here. So, uh, coming to the end of the flight, uh, we have another uh, an hour and a half, two hours to go to land uh, New Zealand and we're getting our dinner now. So they have three choices. Uh, the first one was the uh, roast chicken, and then uh, something called dantan noodle. I'm not too sure what that is, but it's a vegetarian. And the third choice was the Singapore fish curry. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with the uh, chicken, the uh, roast chicken. And uh, yeah, just waiting for my meat to come through. But anyway, guys, um, I got. Uh, a good job with the footage this time uh, and I hope you can really see what the sky uh, couch look like uh, for me I think it's value for money I managed to sleep maybe two or two and a half hours uh, very comfortable in terms of width length wise it's probably about 1.6 meter it's a three seats are in economy um, I, can I get the roast chicken? Uh, so yeah, it's about 1.6 meter uh, in terms of length. Uh, yeah, I would recommend it if you are in a long flight, especially from New Zealand to the US or something like that. 100% go for it. If you can, I would highly, highly recommend it. It was comfortable. It is as good as business class. Uh, obviously, the meals are not the same. Uh, Service-wise, they're friendly. Economy or business is still, is still friendly, but of course, they don't give you as much uh, time as you would have with business because there's a lot more people in the economy. However, uh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so I got my meal. Uh, we'll do a video soon. Uh, so I got the roast chicken, like I was saying. Um, yeah, I'm blown away with the sky. Because 
that footrest, like I mentioned, it goes up to the same level as your seat. So actually you are getting a single bit in terms of foot, pretty much. Uh, so for two people, yeah, it might be a bit tired, but if you, one person, 100%, amazing. Uh, and you would be fully, fully relaxed by the time you land. Uh, or so you're not relaxed, you know, just what I'm saying. Think sometimes um, you'll be refreshed on the land. So yeah, but let's see what the meal is like. So they give you some rice crackers, some desserts. It looks like some Malina. I'm not really sure what this because they don't give you menu in your economy. They sort of Put it, announce it that hey, we're going to be serving uh, three different dishes, and you're going to sort of have to memorize it. Uh, you know, butter, some bread, some uh, you know, the butter. This is like a. Uh, <laughs> it looks pretty much decent because this is like like a burger or something. This looks like a semolina. So yeah, so maybe it's uh, a yeah. bit least style roast chicken. I'm gonna look at that. Uh, but let me do something. Let me take some photos first, and then we'll come back to uh, the video. filming again and it's um, the taste test uh, looks delicious flip it so roast chicken uh, maybe carrots and uh, some veggies mash so this is sorry I said burgal which is right but it's the poly and it didn't really look like the poly that I'm sort of used to and I'm sure this is called Amora or Vespusa, it was a semolina. So it looks like a Middle Eastern uh, dish or Middle Eastern uh, inspired dish. So, yep, let's taste. And we put this up. So, you got some soda water as well. And I got me some crackers, we have that data. Okay. Give you this uh, cutlery set. Uh, it's made from FSC certified birch wood. So I was wrong earlier, let's say bamboo. Sometimes I should really read before I speak. Shall we start with? Maybe we should start with the tapoli. See how authentic. Okay. The small burgle and tapoli, because the burgle will have a lot more greenery. But I mean, tastes okay. It's got cucumber. Lettuce, but it's not really going to have tomato, cilantro, the burgle, some wheat, cabbage. Again, it's not real the bolivar. So, the bolivar is fine. So, guys, with the 787, huh? They can actually dim the windows, so I have no idea whether it's daylight or not outside. This is just, you know, like when I went to the bank, 
and I looked out of the emergency door window. It was totally daylight, <laughs> but here it looks totally dark, but that was a few hours ago. Okay. Chicken. Chicken. Is that tomato? It's nice. Oh, it's nice. Chicken is nice. No Middle Eastern. Uh, tastes a little bit more. Indian? Yes. Mash again. The mash has some kind of uh, a spice which gives it an Asian or a Southeast Asian. It's all. It's, it's very nice actually, but just yeah. it's been infused with something that's for sure. Yeah, it's you know I would have liked them to put the menu, you know, even on, on the, uh, the the screen, so at least we know what we're eating. But I did ask. They did say they can check. That's uh, all. Yeah. Guess what? I just realized that my mic is not on, so hopefully you guys can hear me well. Every time. You guys, I'm sure you can hear me better now. Sorry about this, as I rookie mistake. And that happened because I am a rookie still. So, still need uh, to learn a lot of things, especially editing. I don't really like to edit a lot. Anyway, because I want to keep it real. I want you to see what I'm seeing without glorifying it. So, anyway, some big piece of chicken. Juicy. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to try the dessert so you kind of know what it is, and then I can manage my meat. Okay, it's quite hard. See all the summer clean up. I, I can't tell you what it is, but it's definitely summer clean up. So it's like an Amora or a Mesmosa. That's what we call it in the Middle East. And it's got an orange glaze on it. The actual uh, dessert is very dense, so it's a little bit dry. But the glaze that they put on it is very nice. Sorry, it might be passion fruit. I think it's passion fruit. But on the list, it says it goes well together. I just wish it was a bit more juicier. You see, it's like having I mean, to press very, very hard. It's very dense, super dense. You see, it's dry, too dense. Anyway, the bread, I'll have that later. Sit on down. All right. I said they're gonna serve it with cheese and crackers, but there's no cheese and crackers. Or maybe there is a crackers. Okay. Barbecue rice. Discs. Oh, I don't think that's what they meant. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll be having a lot of cheese and crackers in New Zealand. Anywho. 
finish my meal. Before I leave. Trucks that are actually economy seat, so you can see the difference between this and the actual economy. I, like I said, the only difference will be maybe just a little bit um, of space between you and the seat ribbon, maybe. Uh, and this uh, the footrest is not locked all the way, oh. just stay, uh, you know, a little bit of an angle. That would be it. But apart from this, I don't see any difference to be honest. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Hey guys, so you can see here the difference between the economy seat. So the economy seat, it doesn't have a footrest. And you can see, let me sit. So economy, see, you can see here. And I gotta be quick because the plane is um, soon. And here you got a footrest. Let me just sit. Thank you. No worries. And see, actually, there's a bit of room, so you can see the diff between the two. And and here, another difference is, see, you get the footrest, and it goes up all the way. So that shows you the difference between the economy and the sky couch. Okay, guys, thank you for watching.